It's been a crazy week. Going to talk to you a little bit about by Leaf Spring progress and how that whole project worked out uh, and some other things getting the bus ready for the big trip. And getting the bus ready for the big trip, heading to Florida. Uh, you know, my daughter's getting married down there. But, uh, I'm going to go through some of the pre-trip inspection stuff and uh, just talk to you a little bit about some of the maintenance I've been doing on the bus this week, uh, getting it ready for the big trip. This video is sponsored by Surfshark. That's a VPN that we use, uh, a virtual private network. And you can log into that through both your cell phone, your computers, other tablets. Uh, it lets you access the internet safely. Uh, you don't have to worry about people stealing your passwords or we use a lot of public Wi-Fi when we're on the road. Uh, we're getting ready to leave here on a trip for Florida uh, tomorrow. And just, you know, having the, the VPN really makes it easier to do that and safer to do it. And then also like Netflix and other things that restrict by location, geographic location where you're at. Uh, with Surfshark, you can select a different location than when you're actually at. So if you want to watch a TV show that's not available in a certain area or, uh, you know, a, a if you travel to another country and you want to be able to watch certain movies like on your Netflix or other things like that, uh, you can select the location through Surfshark uh, to allow you to access those videos. So that, that's a really nice feature of it. But for me, it's more about the security and the reliability and the, they have super fast internet connections through them too. So uh, you don't have to worry about it slowing down your devices or anything like that. We've been real happy with the results that we get with the Surfshark VPN. They have a special going on. Uh, if you use our code on the bottom, you get like 83% off, I believe it is. Works out to, on a two-year plan. It's like $2.21 a month. Uh, there's three months uh, free, additional free months included with that contract. Uh, it's just, it's nice to have a VPN. If you're looking for one, Surfshark is a really good place to look for one. The leaf spring uh, on the bus is a huge improvement. It's actually a little higher on this side right now, only because I have the wheel up on a board. Um, so it's about an inch and a, that's like an inch and it's less than an inch and a half. Um, it's probably like an inch and a quarter um, that it's up. But when I take a tape measure now and I measure from the rim, from the rim edge to the body, and I actually went to this line right here because I know that that's the same on both sides of the bus. I am three quarters of an inch different from the driver's side to the passenger side. The new leaf spring is the one that is actually still lower, which when I explain to you why, it's gonna make sense to you in a second here. But it is much, much improved over what it was. So originally I had commented before that on this side I can stick you know, four fingers in here between the body line and it's that's how much clearance I have. I can't do that on the other side. But then what I didn't pay attention to is because the other side has the bulkhead repair, this body line right here is basically right where the wheel goes. On the other side of the bus, because it's had that bulkhead repair, you can't go by the wheel well because it's a totally different measurement. So here I can get three fingers in, not four, but this line right here is not the same height because if I follow this right here, which is not there, I don't know if I can bring the camera down to the right angle, but if we bring this line straight across, it's up here where this, where this is here. So it's that much higher, it's above that hole is where the wheel well would be on the other side. So if I go back to four fingers, you know, I can get the four fingers in. So that'll go there. So that's why I measured from the rim up to this one. And again, I'm three quarters of an inch lower on this side. And this is the side with the new spring. But when you think about the interior layout of our bus, well, number one, all my toolboxes, those two big toolboxes that are very, very heavy are on this side of the bus. The other side doesn't have that. We just got rid of the generator on the other side, which was about 500 pounds of weight, plus the 23 gallon fuel tank over there. We got rid of that. Um, and then on this side of the bus, on the inside, this is the kitchen. So all the kitchen cabinets are lining this wall over here. The other side only has a couch. So a couch versus four kitchen cab, five kitchen cabinets that are filled with, you know, canned goods and pots and pans and other things like that. The other side doesn't have all that weight. Um, also there's glass tile in the kitchen on this wall, nothing like that on the other side. The bathroom is on this side of the bus. The bathroom has glass tile on uh, all three of the walls and uh, you know the toiletries and all that stuff. The other side is just an empty hallway, so there's no weight. When you get back to the bedroom, the bed sits off to this side, the other side is empty. Uh, we do have the fresh water tank, which is 100 gallons of fresh water on the opposite side of the bus. That's the only heavy thing that's really over there. So I did take about 500 pounds of tools out of my boxes on this side, 
moved them to the other side. That's going to help. And I still need to transfer some more weight from this side to the other side. Uh, I'm going to try to alleviate some of the weight out of the kitchen cabinets. We're going to try to remove some of the provisions that we don't necessarily need to carry, you know, three months worth of food supplies with us at all times. So maybe cut that down into one month of supplies and then we can free up another few hundred pounds there. But just everything I can take away and help remove it. Uh, but otherwise, it is mostly sitting level. And when I said these boards, it's not a two by four. Um, it's under the wheels. It's just like a... It's probably a true one inch. It's, it's some old school stuff, but it, it might be inch and a quarter. I don't think it's a one inch, but it's definitely not inch and a half like a, like a normal two, two by four would be. So anyways, the leaf spring, all that work definitely paid off. I'm very happy with the results. So you can see that we're still a little high right now, but it's these two wheels are up on boards. The other side's not. Um, but when I measured from the body line, three quarters of an inch difference from side to side, I'm very happy with that uh, and we'll continue to work on it. So I'm going through my uh, pre-trip inspection on this, just going through and making sure everything looks good. First thing that I did, uh, I went ahead yesterday and I dropped my oil bath air filters, checked the oil levels in all of them. It's not time to service them, but I just wanted to inspect them. And uh, this one right here was about 30% lower in oil level than any of the others. So I don't see any leaks on it. So it must just be aspirating a little bit more oil. So I filled it up. Um, and then this one here, there was a lot of dirt up in the filter, not dirt, but like uh, maybe cottonwood fuzzies or just a, a lot of some material um, kind of plugging it up a little bit. So I actually pulled that cartridge out and washed it and cleaned it real good in diesel um, and then made sure that they were all filled with oil good. Uh, check my fluid levels, engine oil level, transmission fluid level. Uh, I checked the differential the other day when I was under there. Um, check coolant level. I look for obvious signs of leaks. Check my belt tensions, both the alternator and the fan belts. And then I look under the engine. He's been sitting here for three months and the only oil drip is just a, a little tiny little thing there. And uh, I did run it a couple of times, so it's not leaking any oil. Just look at overall condition of things. You know, nothing looks out of whack. I do carry, I have a brand new starter to put on here. This is a used one that I have on there. Uh, I'm gonna change it at some point, but there's no reason for me to do it right now, but I have the extra one with me. It's always good to carry an extra starter on there. Uh, we'll fire it up today um, and get things uh, ready to go. I might even turn it around here so that it's ready to pull out tomorrow morning uh, when we're going to Florida for the wedding. Uh, checked tire pressures. Uh, I inspected the back side of the wheel seals to make sure the wheel seals weren't leaking. Um, just looking for anything out of place. Uh, same thing on the front end, and I adjusted the slack adjusters back here. Adjusted the front slack adjusters. Checking for wheel seal leaks. Uh, all, the, all that good stuff. Um, you know, just do a walk around. I turn on all the lights, make sure the lights are working. I do have one marker light up here on the top that wasn't, or the Michigan light that wasn't working. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to really mess with that. I'm not planning on driving at night. Oh, I'm gonna clean the windshields, get them totally clean, go ahead and put some rain on them just in case, though, make sure the wiper blades are working, the wipers are working. Um, but uh, it's always nice to have rain on there too. But yeah, having good clean windows because it's been sitting for a while is really a good thing. Um, I always inspect my solar panels to make sure they look like they're all mounted on there real well. No, you know, none of the bolts are not, uh, coming off, nothing looks loose, nothing's coming apart. Uh, and I check them when I stop at a rest area or fuel stop too. Uh, I changed my fuel filter on the transfer pump. Uh, you know, just, just the little stuff. We put the new leaf spring on, this is the old one. Gonna have to move this out of the way. It's gonna be my way for turning around today uh, if I do get it turned around. But uh, yeah, just, you know, general safety things, making sure the stuff, you know, the normal pre-trip stuff, once I fire it up, I'll go through the air brake inspection, but uh, the, the air system on this has been really good. It ho usually holds air for days. Um, we got to take this tent down that we've had up for several months. Uh, our ground deployed solar panels will have to get out of here. But uh, yeah, I got, got a lot going on with the bus, but just, you know, because it hasn't moved in three months, I just want to make sure it's ready for the trip. And obviously with the wedding, uh, you know, I don't want to be delayed. My daughter's coming down here. They're going to travel with us down to Florida. We're going to Fort Myers Beach. Uh, just because of the whole COVID thing, we're not able to have the big wedding that she had planned. Um, the reception hall and all that is still booked. They're allowing us to move that a year from now. So she'll have a 
one year anniversary big party hopefully next year and it's just gonna be a small private family wedding with just parents and i think one set of grandparents are gonna so like six people will be there besides the bride and groom um eight counting them and nine counting the efficient so <laughs> uh but yeah it should uh it's it's just well, i'll talk about that in a little bit but yeah it's gonna father the bride stuff you know you gotta the extra stress of you know driving a 73 year old bus to get everybody where they need to go uh, it's gonna be exciting this is that kind of stuff that was all over that air filter so i'm not really sure what it is but um after i was cleaning it i kind of pounded it on here and that was all stuff that came out of it but um it's like a i think it's like cottonwoody kind of stuff just getting sucked in there and then once you get a little bit of oil and dirt sticking to it it plugs up so so i had a crazy animal story to tell you first of all i don't like snakes i've mentioned that a dozen times at least on here well yesterday i have uh, a mouse trap set at the bottom of my uh where the uh, power cord runs into the bus so a, a mouse would get to that before it would try to climb up in the bus hopefully but yesterday uh we caught a snake on that mouse trap uh not by its head and it was only in, it, i don't even know if it was injured but it was just the mouse trap was stuck to it i'm like i can't leave the snake go through the woods with a mouse trap stuck to it so I got a couple of sticks and finagled it and held the snake. It was mad. It, it was not happy. Uh, it didn't want any part of me trying to help it. <laughs> uh, so I ended up being able to get the mouse trap off of the snake without getting injured and deathly afraid of it. Uh, and then got it to go away, obviously. Um, hopefully it'll never come back by the bus again. But I, just, I felt bad for the snake. Um, you know, I don't want mice in the bus and snakes are our friends for the mice. Uh, so I definitely don't want to hurt them. It was a black racer. Um, so I, I knew what kind of snake it was. Um, but, uh, I'll probably won't leave mouse traps outside of the bus, but if one gets in the bus, then it's going to be fair game for that. Um, but I hadn't had any problems with that. I, I'd caught a couple of mice with it. So I, in, uh, over the last month or month and a half, uh, but now that the weather's getting colder outside, it's going to be a concern. So, uh, I should have videotaped it, but I kind of thought it was like cruelty to animal kind of, as I felt bad. Um, I didn't really know how it was going to go. Um, but yeah, I got, got it free and he's back released to the wild. Okay, ridiculous story number two of the week. Uh, when we were replacing the leaf spring a few days ago, the stink bugs were terrible out here. There was probably a hundred or more at a time on the bus or around the bus. And if you smash stink bugs, they stink. So you don't want to ever kill them by squishing them. But what I didn't know until I researched it is that if you scare them, they also release their stink. And when we were working on that leaf spring, uh, I was smashing them under boards, moving things around. They were getting in between things and just multiple ones stinking. And then when I used like the impact gun, that, that noise that it makes was making them, I think that made them stink. Uh, it was just so overwhelmingly stinky. And I was gagging under the bus at certain times just because it was so powerful. And then I was describing to Kelly when she came back on Monday about the stink bugs. And I had some kind of psychosomatic freak out thing because as I'm describing, and I can't do it, I can't, <laughs> I'm getting that way already. Uh, I'm describing to her the stink of the stink bugs and how everything went. And that got me, I'm gagging then just from telling her the story about the stink of the stink bugs. It was completely, I, could, I, don't, I couldn't, I lost control of my body. I don't know if that's anxiety or you know, stress from the wedding or just because uh, I described it too perfectly that my, my brain took me back to that place. Uh, and it was, it was unbelievable. I, I, <laughs> I hope I never, I, man, next year I'm going to be spraying on the property for stink bugs, whatever I can do, uh, just to keep them away. I don't want to experience it again. There are, there are a lot less now. Uh, I've only seen, um, I think maybe like five of them yesterday. So it's a much, much more manageable number. Uh, but I've never had that happen before. I try to tell a story and then physically start to get sick because I described it too well that my brain took me back to there. Um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to tell you uh, any more than that, but it was, it was ridiculous. Uh, but the fact that I just made it through this telling you how it went means that I'm, I'm okay. Um, my, my self-inflicted wrench to the, uh, ratchet to the head wound is healing. Uh, the wedding is less, uh, was it four days away? Um, yeah, so, uh, I'm still pretty sure I'm going to have that big nasty thing on my forehead for that. Uh, she so put some makeup on it or something. The swelling has gone down. It's not a big protruding bump anymore like it was. Uh, so yeah, oh man, the weather out here is, it's chilly, but it's beautiful. The property is amazing. I hate to leave this time uh, of year. We're going to, hopefully it'll still have pretty colors and lots of leaves on the trees when, when we get back from the wedding, uh, in less than a week. So, uh, just a crazy, crazy week.